Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I took our master closet and I converted it into an indoor she shed. So, check it out. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela Flip and Flutter Creations and today I'm going to show you around my new office that I took our master closet and I converted it into a kind of an indoor she shed because our HOA told us we couldn't have one. So I'm going to show you around, let you see all the behind the scenes and where I put all of my crafting materials, where I film, all of that. So here we go. So I'm going to kind of walk you around, let you see the after. Um, but before I do that first, I want you to check out some of the clips from when I was in the process of tearing down all of the shelving and everything in here and then putting up all of the new stuff that went in here. So check that out first. So this is what the closet looked like before I took all of those shelves down. Now, unfortunately, I have lost all the other clips that I did while I was tearing this room apart. I showed the shelves and how difficult they actually were to get down and what the wall actually looked like when I was done taking those shelves down. Like right there, you can see all those um, spots where they like attach to the wall. They are put in there really well with a lot of nails. So uh, this video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to kind of take you around the office and show you. So I'm going to be filming with just my phone without a tripod or anything. So sorry if it's a little shaky, things like that. But um, just bear with me. Now, the master closet is in our uh, master bedroom. There's a bathroom, another closet, our shower, and then a little another little room for our, um, you know, bathroom where we go. Okay, so this is kind of when you first walk in, and you can see some stickers on the floor. My daughter likes to come in and play in my office. So it is kind of a small space, but it does seem to work. The only thing I do not have in here is my heat press and my cup turner and stuff like that. So I'm just going to kind of walk you around, let you see from the back, or just an, a roundabout. So this is behind the door. I really want to take the door off and make it a let's see if we can there we go zoom out a little bit i want to take the door off and actually make it where it's a pocket door because that would save so much space in here if i was able to just slide the door in if we can't do that because we think because our washer and dryer are to the left they're over here um and because of the the wiring for the water and all of that i don't think we're going to be able to put it in there and then there's not enough wall on this side for it to go in because that's where our commode and stuff is, is right there. So I may end up just taking the door off for now until my daughter's older and just putting like a curtain rod or something and like hanging some curtains just to save this space here. So on the, when you first walk in the door to the left, I just have this little area. I don't use it a whole lot um, because before I got the daylight bulb in here, I... Um, had a bulb that just wasn't very bright so the pictures weren't coming out very good but I may go back to using this I do often take and use a big piece of cardstock piece thing I got from Hobby Lobby or Michaels and it looks very similar to this backdrop and I use that by our sliding glass door in the living room so I get that natural light from outside so then you've got all of this this desk and all of this Ikea storage on the left um my crickets and stuff and go up the right i mean up the rest of the wall and then this is the back so straight back when you walk in the door my hanging storage some of the projects you've seen me do my sublimation printer and then to the right this is where i keep all my products so i have all my stuff so i will go through and show you what I have in all these little nooks and crannies and where I keep everything stored. Okay, to the left. So again, we have the photography space. I'm still gonna maybe try to spruce that up with maybe some lighting from above, I'm not really sure. Um, so we'll kind of start from the top down. So at the top, I've got most of like my holiday supplies. Um, we've got the Easter baskets I got from Five Below. 
the different types of ornaments I have that are clear that I'll start pulling down for Christmas. I've got the LED bags, which I showed you guys how to make in a video a little bit while back. Some poofy stuff for inside the ornaments if I don't want to put glitter in them. And then I just have my extra pink right now, the pink um, elephants because they were on sale and I grabbed a couple the last time they dropped down to $4 because that doesn't happen very often. Then on the next shelf, I've got, those are my blank canvases, which I keep meaning to do some either sublimation or heat transfer vinyl. I have some stuff from when I did a lot of paper crafting and I've kept those. Those are all my flowers. Okay, so we got a step so I could get up a little bit higher. So in here, I've got all the little flowers and things like that. You can see some of those in there. Then I have my, my punches that I decided to keep. I did weed down quite a lot of them from when I cut down my paper crafting supplies. These are all of my Xyron sticker makers. I've got all three sizes. Some buttons, my case for my Cricut to carry it back and forth. This has all of my, oh, just kidding, it's empty. I had all my inks in there. So that had my inks in there, but for now it's just a box I can reuse. These are all of my samples from when I used to make, I started with a card making business and I kept a lot of these cards. So just as like samples, just in case one day if I wanted to go back and look at them, maybe make some more, some spooky cards, um, birthday party information, stuff like that. And then those are some other cards that I've made. Sometimes I go in and I grab them. I have a lot of Christmas. And then those are my eggs. The, um, I had bought a case of them off of dollartree.com. And those are the, the egg cartons with the lids that I keep in storage. Some of them already have designs on them because I made a bunch of designs when I first created those. Then you come down, I'm gonna step down a little bit, and there is that ribbon storage that I created. I did that in one of the videos. I can link that above for you. Um, and then I've got the two shelves. Now, the shelves on this side of the room are from Lowe's. They are just the long shelves with the little L brackets. And I got the two long, I measured the space and then got the ones that were long enough for this space. And then I got four brackets each just to hold the weight. And then I got some of the smaller ones because they're the exact size of my Cricuts. So my original intention was to put the Cricut here and my other Cricut here and then just pull them down whenever I wanted them. But after seeing how often I just kept pulling down the one, I gave up and I was like, I'm just gonna leave one on the table all the time and I can, I swap them out whenever I need the maker. Cause I don't use my maker as often as I do vinyl and stuff on my Explore. So here I have all my rolled vinyl. I don't really like the rolled. The HTV has been really nice because it doesn't curl back on you but the oracle for decals and whatnot i am not a big fan of it in the rolls um i got black and white from 143 vinyl and those came on the wider rolls so they weren't skinny but then i got some of these from i think jpi blanks and the rolls are so skinny like when i try to pull this and start trying to put it on my my mat, it just rolls and it's really annoying. So I'm not sure that even though they were on sale, I'm not sure I'll go that route again. I probably will stick to the flat for the Oracle. Okay, so then you can see my setup for my lights and my microphone and that's where I put my phone usually when I'm filming down below a tutorial. This is actually a little coffee thing. Um, we used the other hangers. Where did I put the other hangers? Oh, duh, you'll see those in just a minute. Um, so it's actually a coffee hanger set. So it's supposed to hold like coffee cups on the little hooks. And then the baskets are supposed to be for like your K-cups. But when we bought the house that we're in right now, we realized we really didn't need that. Um, we had bought it from our old for our old house because we didn't have a lot of storage, but now we have a lot more space. So we don't really need that. And it had been sitting out in the garage and I was like, ooh, 
perfect to hold all of this stuff. Um, I've got my little butterfly sign. I don't remember where that came from. It was a gift. That's the sign I made in one of my videos, how to supplement on a canvas. I just have a little, some little knickknacks and stuff. I've got some vinyl projects. These are the extra Santa licenses I made. These are all my deep, my labels for my, my buckets. I haven't finished labeling my candle. I've got my Cricut Explore and I love this little guy. I got this little guy on Prime Day this last summer and it's great. It's got all of the sides have plugins and then there are I think two areas that have the USBs which are great because that's how everything seems to plug in on my desk. Um, and what I do with the cables for my Cricut is I just leave one set plugged in. I put the others in a drawer away because they can use the same cords. At least I haven't had any issue with it. So that way I don't have to keep unplugging the cables and taking them apart. Um, that's the ball I used for the video on the large decal on the wall. I've got this lovely little plug-in fan that I got. Um, I don't remember if it's plugged in or not. I don't think I... Oh, power and then it's got a little timer and it's great because it's nice and quiet and you can put it on different things there so I got that just recently from Aldi actually it was on clearance for like seven dollars this goes with the little set of things that I got here I just got that recently some notebooks this is something I got for my birthday that was on my wish list it is a desktop vacuum cleaner so it'll vacuum up especially like when I'm doing glitter um, for Christmas time. I really wanted one of these, but the neat thing about this is that this version, the top, is also a charging pad for my phone. So if I'm in here crafting and my phone is getting low, I could stick it on here with this plugged in and I could let it charge. So it's kind of multi-purpose. That way you're not, you know, having multiple things on your desk. I like anything that I can find that's going to give me two in one. Um, that we made in one of the videos. Okay, and then all the way over, we've got just my little cart. That's one of those little carts from Joann's or Hobby Lobby. I got that for Christmas last year. Love it. It has all my like cleaning stuff. My, let's see, my, this is my um, alcohol. Um, this is the pure um, uh, acetone for when I'm doing cups and stuff. Some whiteboard eraser, my wipes is all my cleaning stuff and then some random supplies. I've got all my little note cards, envelopes, and then some post-its, little the little cups for doing cups, and some little like clear baggies for when I do things. And then those are my large packages. These are just poly bags, but they're really large so they hold those name mats that I've made when I want to ship them. All right, so this is my new chair that I just got for my birthday, and it was not exactly what I had asked for, but my boyfriend, he's so funny. Um, so this is actually a, like, it's like one that they use out in the garage. Um, he thought it was cool because it, it had the little storage tray. It's got like this red, you know, garage mat on it. Um, so I just bought these little purple covers for him to go over. Um, I wanted one that folds up so I could just stick it in the corner whenever I didn't need it. But, you know, men, they don't really listen. But that's okay. It was very thoughtful. And, you know, my daughter loves spinning around on it. So that works. So then I have my Ikea drawers. Um, so funny story about these is we live like an hour and a half from Ikea. And we went um, about two years ago when I was trying to find storage. And we bought all three of these. And then we got all the way home and realized that the big one, which is like the most expensive, wasn't even on the receipt. But we didn't realize that until we got all the way home because our order was so big. We bought desks and like the table legs and we had tons of stuff on there. So we didn't even realize that they didn't scan that box. So lo and behold, there you go. And then when you call most of the time, they're, they're not going to make you drive all that way back to come and um, fix the mistake that they made. So there you go. We ended up with it for free. So this is kind of my junk drawer here. That's why it doesn't have a label. I put some labels on it um, to just recently and love it. Love how it's organized. This is kind of my card stock. I go through white and black card stock because I will make invitations and stuff for people sometimes. And then I just, I kept like one package of cards 
That's one of those cards I made. Some stickers, which my daughter loves grabbing out of here and doing things with those. These are all my tools, like my laminator, my um, paper shredder, my hot, my heat gun, and then my hot glue gun. This is like all my leather, which I made some stuff with it along with all my little tools to cut it all and all the little pieces to put it together. But um, nobody really took an interest in that and I have a ton of that leather. So I'm gonna try to do some earrings and things I think. And then these are all my paints with my uh, little paint brushes. I use my paint brushes a lot when I do um, glass etching. So we'll scooch over here. Um, these are all my little mats and things like that, self-healing mats, but then my wood piece that I use whenever I'm using my, either my little heat press here in the, in the room, to, or if I'm using my iron so that there's something sturdy underneath it. My long drawer, so this is all the junky stuff. This is all my extra mats, random things. It's kind of become the catch-all. I've got to go through that one. This one, kind of the same thing. Um, I've got my new um, wood that I'm going to try. I've got some HTV that's a new brand I want to try. I bought a white and a black one to see how it works with stretchy. And just some colored HTV that I don't use very often. This is my regular vinyl drawer. This is what happens with that rolled stuff. After I use it and I cut the piece off, like... It just stays rolled. I have such a hard time. And I don't, it's not like I have a lot of extra space that I can use to lay things flat while they straighten out. So I think I'm going to stick with just buying my straight sheets here, which is what I usually do. I'm trying to be really good about not buying too much vinyl because I don't want it to go bad. This is my HTV stretch drawer. These are all the pieces that have been cut into so far. This is my regular HTV. I don't buy this kind anymore unless it's a color I cannot get. Like the lime green, you can't get in the size or stretch yet. Or at least last I checked. And then here is this HTV Glitter Other. But I also ended up putting my full sheets of my HTV stretch because they were getting lost in the drawer with all of the pieces. So I put, I don't use the glitter that often, so I put that down there. So then the next um, drawer system we have from Ikea, this is like my financial stuff, my receipt book, that sort of thing, my extra checks. Um, this is where I keep all my checks because I do the um, mobile deposit. Miscellaneous drawer, just a random smattering of things, googly eyes to the extra little slip. Oh, and this is cool. This is for um, twi uh, tw twilling, right? Paper twilling. Is that, did I get quilling? Paper quilling. Blah, 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 blah. You can see I've done it quite a bit. It's for making flowers. These are all my various adhesives. I use the blue a lot, quite a bit. Um, masking tape, um, shipping tape. I just have random smatterings, glue dots, just about everything, glue dots, all kinds of things. So those are my pieces. My wood signs. I've just got some random wood signs in here just that I picked up on clearance or I was going to do something with. Same with here. I've got some that were too big for the drawer. Eventually I'll get to them. It's when I want to have all that extra time. I'm in my master's program right now, so it's really hard for me to have extra time to do things that aren't orders that need to be completed for my clients. So these are all my filming equipment and things like that. So just extra tripods and cords and all of that sort of thing. So I keep that down there at the bottom. All right, so now we're on the back wall. Okay, um, we'll start from the bottom and we'll work our way up since I'm already down here on the floor. So here we've got the bottom tray of this bookcase, the small bookcase, I have all of my sublimation paper, I have my printable paper, my laminating, this is my sticker, printable sticker paper, and um, laminating pouches, these are just like all different kinds of sticker papers, and things like that. I also have, oh, I put those up here, and then I have my extra Insta ink for my extra inks to eke for my um, my regular printer which is in the other office I originally tried to bring that printer in here as well but it there wasn't enough room and then I just have these little trays these are my bags for packaging up t-shirts so they look nice 
just some random receipts. I had a little folder in here that says receipts, but I had to go pull some of them, so that's not there right now. That is my extra ink for my sublimation, as well as my little pins I bought for my 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 board I made with the map, um, some staples, push pins, things like that. Okay, these this little tray area. These are my sheet protectors that you sheet protectors that you've seen me use in quite a few of my videos that I use to put the HTV on. Like here, I have an order a client canceled after I'd already cut it. It was a friend, so. I just have it sitting there because I can use it maybe at some point if somebody wants something for that. Then I have like my stickers and things that I need when I'm packaging orders. This My daughter uses this. She colors with all my markers and stuff, so I just put it to the side. Okay. Then, then we have the sublimation printer. I have the EcoTank 2720 that I converted, and I have the video for that, which is on my channel. Keep my laptop kind of up here. This is just all of my supplies, my business cards, things I might need, extra cutting things for my Cricut, uh, for doing jewelry, pulling the little pieces apart. Got some extra little hanging things, which you'll see these. I have these using um, on the sides of the bookcase for the mats, just some pens. This little guy, which I wanna try out for doing sublimation cups to get the seam right. So I haven't tried that yet because I haven't had any to do recently. And then just clips and stuff like that. And what's behind here? Oh, that's just my vacuum cleaner thing. All right. So that's the bookcase on the sides of the bookcase. I have those little hooks there that I just got from Walmart and I have my one of each of my mats so that they're easily accessible. On the other side, I have my bags, which I just had to order some more of these because I'm low. These are my bags for delivering to my clients. The only bad thing about them hanging here is they do tend to get dusty. And I have just little tiny ones, which I got that just butterfly ones. There's an extra one of those long thingies that have the hooks over here, which I'm about to show you. I have one more left, but I don't really have any room in here for it. So I took that coffee rack thing again, and then I just got these little pails at Walmart, and that's where I put all my supplies. I was gonna put them in little cups here, but I kinda like this better. It gets them up. The only thing is my daughter likes them, and she points to them, ooh, 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 she wants to play with the markers, and then she wants to play with the pens. And um, hiding back here is kind of all my cutting supplies, my, um, my guillotine one, my paper cutter, and then my little, the little one that's the Martha Stewart one that the scorer, so you can score a piece of cardstock to make it fold in half. So that's what that little white one is down there. Um, above the little things, I've got my flip and flutter reach. Um, I do have the one in Tennessee, but I actually also have one in California. I just sent an order to California, but I need to look on the map to see exactly where my client was located. So I'll have one there and then I've got one to put in Texas. So, hey, we're getting there. There is the butterflies, which I got from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale. And then the create sign I made. This is from Ikea. It is the peg pegboard system. What is it, Scatus, I think. Um, I'll have to look that up. And that's just where I keep all the little bottles that I need for glass etching, Mod Podge, I mean, my resin, just all my markers for my Cricut, things I need to keep out of my daughter's path. These are all the little pieces I don't want her to, you know, choke on. They're all my jewelry making kits. Um, oh, that's really cool. That is from Kristen Vagnus of Criminal Minds. She um, signed that card for me and I think that's really cool. I was excited. Um, my Cricut one, which I use more often for my paper cutter. Just put my graduation things here, my high school and my college, and then hopefully soon I'll have my masters. All my inks are here, my little book rings and things that I use for jewelry making. All my tools. I love this big clear one for when, um, ruler for when I'm doing, um, using that rotary tool to cut the leather. That's really helpful. This is where my pin pin sits, but it's actually in my Cricut right now. I'll show you that. 
Oh, I have two of them. They're both out of their little holders. My brayer, all my Cricut tools, of course. You've probably seen me use those. Let's see real quick. There's my pen pen. And that goes in those little black ones. I have two. I have a purple one and then I have a blue one. So, and then I just have some, I have some, uh, a little balled up aluminum foil for when I need to clean out my, my, uh, my needle on my Cricut. So just if there's any paper or stuff. Okay. So on the, when you come in the door to the right, to the right, you have these four tall bookcases. So I got these from Walmart. Okay, we'll just start on one wall. Okay, so actually I'm gonna do the top first. I just have my extra glassware that I got from Ikea. These are just some simple bags that I got from Jiffy Shirts um, and some other bags. So I just have those up there and then some empty rolls in case I need them. These are just some random like card packs and things some aprons these are products that um i've made that you know don't actually have a home to go to yet i just stick them up there and then these are all my sublimation cups and then we'll just start on this side then and work our way to the back wall so this shelf is all my sublimation supplies and then to the right here right when you walk in the door this is a big wood piece from an old desk setup that I had from like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something and I use that on the floor whenever I'm filming so that my products aren't touching the floor but sometimes it's easier for me to use my press and stuff like that on the floor I just put the wood the wood down so I have a white background to film on so let's see this I think some of these are actually empty yeah they're empty right now um, but this has like the straws for the cups up here the metal straws that comes with and the clear straws and the, let's see, straw cleaners. Uh, and then those are for the bottoms of the cups. So the ones that I got from, I think that was JPI, I think are the ones that came with the straws and the little rubber bottoms. Um, there's nothing in these yet because I was seeing, oh, those will actually fit. And I was debating getting some more of these. They were on clearance at joann's or no hobby lobby one time and i didn't make it back there in time to get some more they do have them on amazon but they're going to be more expensive so i was debating using that on top of these clear shelves these clear tubs that i got from walmart um to you know add more storage space but for now i don't quite need it i think i have most of it taken care of but i could grow and need some more space so these are all my sublimation shirts as of right now um i was testing some out so and then i just bought some random ones like from some of these are from walmart that i was just going to try out that people have said work well so and these little things are actually for your boots they're um shoe holders for your boots and they're pretty nice size um let's see if you can see how big those are and then they have the clear top on top of them and that's what i bought i bought a ton of those to use to store all my shirts so they're not getting dusty or hair or anything like that on them. These are just all my random sublimation supplies that I've purchased and maybe haven't played with yet or like I purchased in bulk. So like my puzzles, more puzzles. Um, these are the Santa license things. Puzzle, these are the mouse pads, just tablecloths, more mouse pads that are leather. These are like the hanging things for your car, a glass cutting board just different things like that and then these are like the wood items the little things like jewelry and coasters and magnets and things and then the signs and car things so just all kinds of random and then these are some stuff things I got from the Dollar Tree to try out same thing with over here I'm going to try that paddle here soon so those are kind of all the sublimation that's why they're kind of in the blue um rather than the purple i was trying to keep it separate this now we go into the next shelf and this is the shelf where i made the glitter thing that i did in the video so behind these glitters are that little purple aluminum foil contraption i made with aluminum foil from the dollar tree for all of my glitter which most of my glitter is yaya's so or sass and crafts i think they changed to sass and crafts so 
some of it still says yeah yes um that's where most of my glitter comes from um i'm not really making cups anymore so most of my glitter i'm using for the ornaments but i'm not sure if i'll go back to making cups so this is just kind of some pretty backdrop for when I'm filming. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So these are just for when I make my little tic-tac-toe boards. These are the little hearts to use this tic-tac-toe for Valentine's Day. Sublimated this. That's my cute little girl when she was one. She's almost two now. This is just kind of a basket that has all the products that are in weight. Either people gave them to me but don't know what they want on them or just little things that I need to do either for myself or others. Okay, so the next shelf is still a work in progress. I have everything I need to do things with acrylics. So I have my like acrylic pieces that go with the little light stands. I've got everything to make like keychains and the car freshener things that hang what the flowers are for. I've got like batch reels, all different kinds. And then I have these cool containers over here, which I got from Target from the dollar spot. Um, they're all different sizes, bunch of these similar ones like this. So my plan is, is to take what's on this bottom shelf, which is this container full of all these different acrylic blanks and get them all sorted in these containers and then label the edges so that I know exactly what I have. Um, these were a great deal. There was like 10 packages of them and they were a dollar each. And so I spent like 10 bucks and I got all these different sizes and I thought that was great. So super cool, saw it. Somebody mentioned it in one of the groups I was in and I just happened to be at a Target one day and happened to notice that they were there and I was like, ooh, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of those. Kind of a mess right now. My daughter tends to play with this shelf and then the one right below it. So, you know, I get most of this stuff here is what I, what I order from Zindi. So I have like, my car freshener things, the little kits that they make with the little tags, um, with the little freshener circles. And then, let's see, I think these are all the, the, I don't think you're allowed to actually call them whatever they are now, but the little phone stands. And then, which I haven't even tried those by the way. And then these are all different types of jewelry that I haven't tried yet. My plan was to like try to buy an alum and stuff like that. So I just bought like little packages of each of them one time when they were having a sale. And then there's the flowers that go on the air fresheners for the car kits. Um, and again, this is all the stuff. These are the little uh, tassels and stuff like that to make keychains. Um, those are ones that are already in progress. And then there's all the badge reels. Okay, so, sorry. So then the bottom shelf here is my small press that you may have seen me use in some of my videos. I've got just a little mat and a, and a Teflon sheet so that I can use that in here. Like I said, I tend to put one of those white boards down on the ground and then that way I have something heavy duty to put the, the mat on and then press on. Um, and then this is for doing acrylics, all my stuff for doing acrylics, which um, with the uh, the little UV, UV um, epoxy or whatever, I started doing it and then I got pregnant and I kind of stopped working on them after I had my baby. Same with my tumblers and I haven't really gone back to that stuff. Although I would like to, that's what I have that's what I have like the majority of this stuff for as well is to use with this um, nail light and do the UV as well. And then that's just some um, Alumalite back there back before I switched from Alumalite to a different brand of epoxy whenever I do my cups. Okay, so, all right. So the next shelf down, I just have something really cute because this sometimes goes with the backdrop as far as being able to see in the back of my videos um, which you'll see when I recap this one and then these are all my different 
can coolers or bottle coolers. I really like these. They're kind of cute for making like, you know, their jersey numbers or whatever that they like. And I've got all different colors here. Then I just have this cute sign I got from the Dollar Tree or Family Dollar. I can't remember. Got these little pens. I was going to make these as Christmas gifts for people and I totally forgot I had them over here. I got them on clearance from 143 Vinyl. I have some wine toppers that I can put vinyl on. I tend to do that with like a clear, I use a clear sparkly vinyl sometimes to make them pop. Just some wine uh, shot glasses I can etch, some wood and things to try out on my maker. I've got some like jewelry. I'm going to try some of this stuff on the maker using the etching tool and then like the knife the knife blade and stuff I bought some of this stuff on Amazon and just haven't had time to try it because of my master's program but I am just about done or no I am done I'm just waiting on my conferral so very exciting I can actually get back to crafting and posting tutorials for you guys I'm super excited about that so these are just different bags like these are the little bags I use for my tic-tac-toe boards I've got these different little jewelry or pencil pouches, whatever you want to use them for. Not jewelry, um, makeup pouches or um, pencil pouches. There's a couple different colors that I've got. I get those from 143 Vinyl as of right now. Just a random tray. I don't remember what I was going to do with that. Some towels. Most of the stuff on this side of the room and over is all stuff I would do vinyl with or etching or things like that. So you're not going to really find the sublimation items here. These are just some masks, some of these little things for the closet. I was going to make baby closet organizers like zero to three months, six to nine months. And again, never got around to it. Couldn't figure out how to make the file myself and that was a while ago so something I will attempt to do again soon so then these next few shelves are all going to be closed so pretty much everything you're gonna see from here are all my blanks and you can see I've started putting my labels on some of them so those are the labels I made them for all of these but I haven't finished so I just have like all my baby stuff up here and then down here because I couldn't decide if I liked it with it with nothing behind it so I was worried that that might be too hard to see so like the youth shirts the toddler shirts and then if I go over to my last shelf I'm going to start at the bottom I have my large shirts and I tend to keep like these are my 2XL and then these are the XLs I tend to keep like black and white Bella canvases in one bin, the smaller bin. Like I said, these are all like shoe organizers and they're really nice from Walmart and I really like them. I spent a little bit of money on them, but I think it was worth it to organize this. So, and then I tend to keep the colored ones in another bin and any that are not Bella canvas, like ones that I bought, maybe a tank top because I want somebody asked for a tank top or a V-neck and I don't normally carry V-necks. I only order when I need them, but I do carry Bella canvas in about six or seven different colors. You can kind of see this is how they're all supposed to look so that I can see what colors I have, but I'm still working on organizing. Um, sometimes I pull into the bins and then I don't close everything. So these are, so these are all of the bins. That's most of this whole last shelf. And then at the very top, I just have some random things like pillow covers. If I want to do ones with vinyl, these are not sublimation ones. These are vinyl. I've got all my pot holders and all my different, um, my placemats for making Santa mats. These are some of my tumblers that are just stainless steel. They're not meant for sublimating. So I try to keep them separate so I don't accidentally get anything mixed up. And then I just have some of these glass tiles, the subway tiles. I am, um, and then these are little stands for them that I got off of Amazon. And again, I haven't even made one of these yet, but I bought a couple of them to try it out. And it's just another thing I haven't gotten to. And then just a random glass. Ooh, I'm gonna drop that. Um, I had a stein back there, but I used it just a couple days ago. So, whew, that is it. All right, so. All right, guys, so that's it. Thanks for going on a journey through my little kind of indoor she shed craft space 
Don't forget that if you have a small space, it's okay. You can still make it work. You can still make your space usable and workable. And this is just one idea. Maybe you have a big closet like this that you could figure out another place to put your clothes and you could turn it into your own little craft safe haven. So we make it work with what we have and I'm really loving it. It's like my own little slice of heaven in here and I can kind of go and get all of my stuff done and most of the time don't get bothered unless my little one comes in but it's all right. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for checking out my craft space with me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell if you want to see some tutorials in the future. Thanks again for swinging by.